Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Mari and today I'm bringing you two real easy and simple but beautiful DIY. Let's just go ahead and jump into the first one. Okay, you guys, we are going to be using these two cutie joy um, pillow trays. That's how I call them pillow tree i think they are beautiful and um, we are going to make like a little transformation between flowers and pigs and bows and you all gonna see i'm gonna be removing the price the tag everything on it like you see me doing here They are pretty as they are right now, but we are going to make them look prettier. We are going to be using one of those dolls. I think they wood dolls, is that how you call them? And I'm going to try to um, make like a little um, hole in the bottom of the pillow tree you see where I'm showing you in the beginning I thought that I was going to be able to make like a little um, a long um, hole in the same place where it was so but I was looking for my um, exact knife and I don't found it you see over there that I tried to use like a little um i really don't know how you call that it was like a small knife but i was about to call myself so i give up and i decide then to use my little scissors they are like a detail scissors just for a small jobs like this one and i just go ahead yep and make like a little little tiny hole because you know this um this material um this fabric material is real it's like a sweater material so it's trash real easy and i try my dough over there and i was checking the land that it was good for my taste and i just go ahead and glue a little bit in the bag just a tiny bit because that's the way of these um, pillow trees are nothing they weigh nothing so they don't need that much um, of glue plus I don't want to put a lot of glue and make it all messy and ugly so you know what I'm talking about So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the second three like you see me doing here. I knew already that that's the quickest way to put the wood doll um, inside the pillow tree. So I just go ahead and proceed to do it quickly that way. I mean, this is, um, it doesn't need that much explanation. I'm pretty sure you guys see um, doing this before a bunch of times, but this is my, my way, my, my two little pillow um, trees. So my version. I love them. I love them. The only thing that I don't like, I'm using my sheer scissors over here. I love these sheer scissors, but let me tell you, changing the conversation, guys. They're not that easy to use. It has to be the pens, the kind of wood that you use in these doors, doors or doors, whatever you say that. 
um, they're not that strong. You know, the material, the wood is not that strong, so they cut real easy. But you have a hard time, you know, using the sheer scissors in another kind of um, wood. So this piece where you see me um, gluing the door over here, it was from the last project. So I'm reusing it. And I'm holding the, the door over there after I put some glue until it get dry. And now I'm gonna proceed and put a little bit more to be sure that doesn't go nowhere. And now I'm gonna check how long I want the next one. And before I forget what I was about to tell you and I changed the subject was that the only thing that I don't like about this um, Pillow trees is that they have the same um, name in the front. They both of the both of them say joy, but they are different colors. So it doesn't bother me. I mean, it doesn't bother me. So I just leave them like that, and I think they came out so pretty. I love them. I love in the way they came out. I hope that you guys like it too. So after I cut them and I glued them, and there you see me still holding it to be sure they don't go nowhere, I clean the spider, the glue spiders. They usually you see the cone after you use a lot of glue like that. And over here we are gonna use some of these berries and Christmas flower. I'm not sure if those are the holy berries. I don't think that's the holy berries. I know it's a pick and some berries. So we are gonna be using the whole pick and some of the berries and we are gonna place them and decorate the bottom of the little stand that I'm using for all the two um, little, tree, little trees. And that's all I did for this. I think after I'm gonna be doing, using that pretty um, ribbon the Dollar Tree have, it's like the creamy beige. It look more like a, um, in Spanish, we call it encaje. I don't know how you guys say it, but I find out. If I find out, I put the name in the bottom for you guys to know what I'm talking about. So like I say, over here, I'm using this pick. I'm opening all the branches. I'm trying to place it around to see how it looks better like so I love these pigs I think they are so cute and you got like four or five different things just in this pig for a dollar you can beat that you guys I'm very careful when I go to Dollar Tree and I'm um, choosing flowers and pigs and berries and any kind of flowers and any you know any type of flower because sometimes you don't put attention and when you get home you are missing pieces or you are missing is always something so but this one in particular it wasn't missing nothing i missed that flower that you see i just drop it over there but that i did it myself because i was putting a lot of string when I was trying to twist it around the little uh, in the woodens. Now I'm cutting some berries 
these berries are absolutely lovely with all the snowy and um, shiny stuff that they put up to on top of them. I think they are lovely. Now I'm placing them before I glue them to see. Um, and you guys, this pig and this berry it is no need probably for some people to put glue on it. I just decided to put some glue in the one of the berries because um, it wasn't it, it wasn't gonna stay in the way they I, w I want the berry to stay, you know, in the position that I really want I want to put it so that's what I decided to put some um, tiny bit of hot glue between the dower and the berry branch I think this is what I'm doing here but the pit in particular I don't put no glue because you know you can bend that it's like a wire you know what I'm talking about so you can bend it and place it and it doesn't go nowhere. So yeah. I'm just gonna let you guys to keep watching the video and listening to some Christmas music in the background. And you guys, if this is your first time visiting, welcome. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. And if you really enjoy my video, I really hope that you consider it to subscribe and hit the notification bell because you know, like that, YouTube is gonna notice me a little bit more. You guys, I want to mention that when I decide to do this bowl to place it in top of the um, pillow Christmas trees, I changed my mind no once, twice. In the beginning, I, my plan was to put a black and a white and red, I'm sorry, um, bow, but the material of the ribbon that I was using, it, you know, it wasn't helping me because um, it was kind of hard. So I changed my, you know, I changed my mind. You're going to see me over here struggling with these little bowls because my intention was to make them tiny, you know, because the little trees are small. So... I just want to throw that over there because at the end you're going to see that I ended up using the um, um, lace ribbon. That was the name that I was trying to came out in the beginning of the video. That's the lace ribbon the Dollar Tree usually have. It's like a beige creamy color. So that's the one that I ended up um, using. Um, making the balls and placing on top of each of the beautiful pillow trees. So I just want to throw that over there.
And here's the result, you guys. I think it came out real, real cute. I'm real happy with it. Let's just go ahead and jump into the second DIY. Okay, you guys, this is gonna be real quick and easy, but beautiful. This wall art is um, reversible. I mean, it's double-sided. Um, I bought it in Walmart, and all we're gonna be doing is changing the jute, the it came in the top to hang it. We're gonna be using the ugly hanging part. I don't like it. I love jute, but not in this piece. And we are gonna be using some wire, flower, um, flower wire from Doll 3. And we're gonna be using some um, wood bits from Amazon. And are we are gonna be making a new um, hanging for this double-sided um, picture frame or wall art, um, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and let me tell you, just changing that, that piece over there, the hanging piece, it changed the complete um, world art. Um, it looked like completely different. And I thought in stain the wood, um, the wood um, bits, but I love the contrast that it has with the, with the mark of the picture um, frame. You can see that it's like light, um, real light um, wood color. So it's the same, almost the same color of the wood bits. And I'm gonna be trying to, you know, make like a pattern, like four, that was my intention. Four bit um, wood bits, two medium ones, and two small ones. But as you're gonna be seeing, next time I'm gonna have to like, put the wood um, bits in a small container and probably divide them because in this glass container that I have them after I, they come from Amazon, I place them in, I place them in this um, glass container and I can see them. That was why I put them in that container, but they are to, you know, all together mixed you know, the big ones with the medium ones and the small ones. So when I was trying to like found them to make the pattern that I really want to make with this um, piece, um, I fight with them a little bit, but you live and you learn. And at the end, the result is lovely. So I don't mind at all. I just, you know, want to share that with you guys. Um, I cut, a piece of wire um, using my wire cutting and um, like I say I just try to make a pattern you guys can make any pattern that you like um, guys this is real simple this I just this is this is cheating because this is not even a DIY this is like you know like something so simple to do any person can do it this is i'm doing this video and showing you this piece because i want to show you that it's like so easy and simple to just um add decor to your place to your house to your living room to your bedroom any any part of your house like just change the color sometimes or change the curtains or change the light um paint some bees or let them in the, you know, plain color that they come, natural color. You know, you can make um, anything look beautiful, beautiful without a spend a fortune or, you know, it's real. All you need is the desire to make something look prettier and you, you can do it. That's all I'm gonna say, so. That's all I did for this. 
I let you watching and listen to some Christmas music, you guys. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And again, if you did enjoy it, please, I hope that you consider to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because like that, YouTube lets you know every time that I upload a new video. And I'm trying to upload at least once a week, but I'm planning to try to do it at least twice but if not twice it's gonna happen once so i don't have a, a day in a specific yet i'm trying to do it every every sunday um but always is gonna be for now once a week in the future i'm gonna let you know exactly what day for sure